Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Former rapper turned politician Moses Barrow, better known to the world as Shine, has opened up in a candid and emotional recounting of his involvement in the infamous 1999 nightclub shooting, his complicated history with music mogul Sean Diddy Combs, and his path to forgiveness and healing. Shine, now a Belizean politician vying for the office of Prime Minister, revisited key events that shaped his life and career during a detailed interview. The 1999 incident at Club New York resulted in three people being injured after gunfire broke out. Shine, then a rising star under Diddy's Bad Boy Records, was convicted of assault and reckless endangerment in 2001 and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Diddy, who was also implicated, was acquitted of all charges, leading to widespread speculation and controversy about the trial. Shine revealed the strain he felt during the trial, particularly concerning decisions made by Diddy and his legal team. A key point of contention, Shine explained, was the decision to call security guard Sharice Myers as a witness. Shine and others, including the late Anthony Wolf Jones, begged Diddy not to call Myers, believing her testimony would severely damage Shine's defense. She was the most damaging witness, Shine said. We all begged him, yo, please don't call this witness, she's going to bury me. But he called her anyway. Why? Because he wanted to save himself. His strategy was simple, someone had to go to jail, and it wasn't going to be Diddy, it had to be me. Shine also detailed the legal pressure he faced. The district attorney offered him a plea deal in exchange for testimony against Diddy. According to Shine, prosecutors wanted him to testify that Diddy had initiated the shooting. Shine refused, ultimately serving a decade behind bars. The DA offered me a plea deal for 13 years if I testified against Diddy. They wanted me to say, he had the gun, he passed me the gun, he started shooting, but I wouldn't do that, Shine stated. His decision to remain silent came at a high personal cost. Reflecting on his imprisonment, Shine described the years as devastating. My life was destroyed. I was buried alive trying to figure out how to keep living. Shine was released in 2009 and later deported to his home country of Belize. It wasn't until 2012 that Diddy attempted to reconcile with his former protege. Shine described a meeting in Paris where the two tried to mend their fractured relationship, though tensions lingered. He owes me. He owes me his life, Shine said. If it weren't for me, he wouldn't be a billionaire. If I had cooperated with the district attorney, he would have gone to jail, and who knows what would have happened to his career. Shine added that Diddy's initial offer of $50,000 as a gesture of reconciliation felt insulting. 10 years of my life, and this is what you think it's worth, he asked. During the decade Shine spent in prison, Diddy visited him only once at Rikers Island, a visit Shine admitted ended in anger. When he came to see me, I tried to spit in his face. I didn't want to see him. My life had been destroyed because of him. Years later, Shine performed with Diddy at the 2022 BET Lifetime Achievement Awards, a moment he described as both complex and empowering. Initially hesitant, Shine agreed to the performance after Diddy framed it as an opportunity to promote Belize. To me, that was a moment of power because now he was asking me to do something for him. I made sure the Belizean flag was the centerpiece and it worked. It was the biggest flag ever on that stage, Shine explained. When asked if he has moved on, Shine's response revealed the complexities of his relationship with Diddy. On Tamron Hall, he expressed that while he has worked to heal, the wounds from the past remain. You can't ignore the facts, the Little Rod lawsuit, the accusations of Diddy bragging about scooting up the club, and the decisions he made during the trial, they all still trigger me, Shine admitted, referring to recent allegations against Diddy, including those raised by former partner Cassie. Shine added, these accusations aren't coming from nowhere. When you hear someone like Little Rod say certain things, it makes you wonder what else he's telling the truth about. Despite the lingering resentment, Shine expressed no satisfaction at seeing Diddy face his current legal and public controversies. I wouldn't wish incarceration on my worst enemy. I take no joy in what's happening to Diddy, Shine stated. He concluded by offering prayers for everyone involved.